Okay, it's nine o'clock. We'll get started. Today is Friday, February the 16th, 2018. And today, my name is Kristen Lawrence, and I'll be giving you all a customer success update and what we've been working on and go through the agenda as far as accomplishments, any challenges that we might be having, what our plans are, what we've been working on for this quarter, and any questions at the end in the chat. So let's start off with the accomplishments. One of the things I talked about last time I updated was how we plan to regionally align based on our solutions architects and working with the uh, strategic account leaders. So you can see that we've now officially done that. We've moved out of a pooled model and we are, the SAs are aligned by region. So East, West, you can see EMEA and federal. Um, we also have APAC. Zhao Gang has been working in APAC, so that's been in place for a while. Um, with this, the pooled model exists only for mid-market, so they are still, they're still processed, which we've updated the handbook on how uh, the mid-market account executives are in getting the essays engaged. Um, we also, with the TAMs, have aligned them by accounts, so we have a list of top growth accounts that the SALs will be focused on this next fiscal year. And with that, we've also included, as far as the tier levels that we've defined for what the ARR for each of our uh, large and strategic customers are, so tier one through three, those have also been assigned to our TAMs that we have, so we're excited about that. And from a professional services side, we, for this quarter, kicking off the year, we've already closed 25000 in January. It's exciting to know we still have a pretty good uh, what's going to close for this quarter, idea of what's going to close, and as well as pipeline. We're still building that, and it's something that we're working on, and we'll talk about that um, as far as what we're, some of the things that are in the plans that the, the team is working. Uh, another accomplishment, which just came in in like the, the last hour, or Dave Thomas shared with me, I'm excited to say that the marketing team that involved everyone from GitLab to participate in the um, hack day, so we all that were involved with that, the CS team, so from Joel Kruiswick, Dave Thomas, and Brendan had been a part of the team that won collectively that contributed the most complete blog post, post so say that five times, <laughs> the most complete blog posts in as far as that day goes. So exciting from, for all of them. Challenges, you know, with moving out of a pooled model comes areas that are new, right? Not different, but new. So where they have been working on accounts based on a pooled model, it could have been an East account and now you're aligned with the West region. So it's just making sure that the customer experience through all of this is not being affected by any of these changes. So if, for example, Joel Cruzwick might be working on an account that was in the East and now he's aligned on the West, we want to make sure that that transition happens smoothly. And again, the experience that our customers are um, being involved with when they're working with the pre-sales team, that everyone is aligned and working together. So we're making sure that things aren't falling through the cracks um, and the transition, again, the transition is smooth. When we remove that pooled model, um, that was something that, again, focusing on the large and strategic accounts. And then as far as, um, you know, letting everyone still continue down that path, depending on where they're at in that life cycle, that they'll still work with those accounts and those strategic account leaders in order to close. We're not going to just pull them off when they're getting close to the end. It's really important that the technical account managers are also engaged in that as far as that process goes. So again, they're not, the customer's experience is not that they're feeling like they're working with different parts of the organization. It's a partner that they've signed up with. Um, the hiring, we're still working hard and thankfully for the recruiting team that they've, you know, shout out to them. They've really been working well on getting good candidates sourced and um, basically teed up for us to go through the interview. And it's just a matter of, adding that to everyone's calendars. It's always hard when you're doing so much more and you're adding that, but it's really critical that we get the right people. So good quality people, it's just a challenge. It just takes some time. What we're working on. So I've kind of broken it down based on team. Again, we're all part of customer success. However, the focus has been, whether it's pre-sales, 
services or post sales with our technical account managers. The solutions architects, you can see here, there's issues that have been created around, you know, teaming up with marketing on developing and enabling our entire customer success organization with the new messaging and positioning. So the demo presentation, how to get it right and how to make sure everyone's certified on that. So we have a team working with, uh, with William and Ashish on that. Uh, you can see here from a professional services, there's, we've, we broke it down into, you know, enablement, uh, education for our customers and engagement models. So uh, looking at services calculator is an enablement thing that we can have a tool that our, our sales team, including the SA, can use as they're scoping out opportunities versus having to have one of our implementation engineers on every single call. It's helping them sell value, why services is important. So you can see there's a lot going on here. And again, GitLab education is a big initiative that Brendan is running with and making sure that from um, how we revamp the current training, you know, when they're, whether it's uh, decks that we have, leave behind exercises, there's a lot going on. And please feel free to go out and look at those issues and, and contribute where you feel. Uh, you want to add to. The technical account managers, a lot going on there too. We just organized the team in December. Uh, or, yeah, Philippe actually in EMEA came on board in January. So now that we have the team in place, there are a lot of things that are important. It's a matter of prioritizing the right things to kick us off. So, you know, creating a success plan with our customers is really going to be critical. And we're right now in a process of utilizing GitLab uh, to accommodate that need. So the, the experience from a pre-sales where we're using GitLab for account management, we want that to also go into the post-sales. And it's a win-win for us. So Patrick and, and Luca and John and Philippe and Andy have all done a fantastic job in putting together what a success plan would look like in GitLab. And eventually we're gonna roll that out to sales so that everyone is aware of how we're gonna work, be working with our customers. It's pretty awesome what they're doing. I'm really, really excited to share that soon. Um, again, as far as a customer goes, when they're onboarding, what is involved in a 30 or 60 or 90 days, Things like QBRs, our quarterly business reviews with our customers. These are all very important, critical aspects to a post-sale experience through the customer journey that we want to make sure we get right. Now, it's not going to be right right away. It's a matter of iterating through some of these programs we're putting in place now. And then we'll get that feedback from our customers as well as other stakeholders involved in the process so we can better make it better um, going down into future quarters or future months. So all these issues are created. These are what we prioritize as what we call epics. Um, and we're working on these as our strategic initiatives for this quarter. And then next quarter, I'll have a say, another update with where we're at with what we're executing here and what we'll be doing moving forward. Any questions? Let's go look in chat. Oops, I just hid my... Questions, comments? And just kind of a, a side note for what Matt, so the, we're still working on the definition of and making clear what the roles are from where pre-sales and post-sales and how they're working together, strategizing with our strategic account leaders in how to best position those two roles. So where the pre-sales will be freed up to continue to hunt for new opportunities and the post-sales is going to guarantee that our customers are happy with their adoption, with any awareness like through roadmap calls, and then of course growth. So we wanna make sure the usage is there so that we can continue to grow those accounts. Any other questions? Comments? All right, well it is Friday and it's a holiday weekend for the US people here. And if you have anything, feel free to reach out to me, but have a great Friday. Thank you everyone.